per turn. Hyperspace communication, so again we get more command points, very valuable. Mauler device, I don't really care about. It's a decent weapon, but I don't usually use it just because where it fits in, I'm usually doing other stuff. Wow, 1,500 research points. Worthwhile, though. And only 11 turns. Like, look at this. We're raking in so much research. Now what? State emergency declared when long-range scanners began tracking a huge, toxic, amoebic life form traveling at warp speed across the galaxy. And now, in a GNN-exclusive story, your empire now spans 14 star systems, outnumbering all other empires. That's right. Ooh, Admiral Dantos, the bandit lord. Yeah, okay, you seem... Uh, fi no, you know what? Actually, you're not that good. I'm going to turn you down. Housing done. You can actually build me a scientist. Well, cybernet, and followed by a scientist, and we'll get back to you. And, oops, not race. We want to go... I don't care about diplomacy at this point. We want to dismiss this guy, make room for someone else. And what is happening here? Oh, the space amoeba is coming to Brussels. And are all my ships really in... Five turns. Well, we can get there in five turns. There we go. We'll be fine. Freighter fleet done. So build me a scientist. Yes, I know you got no room. Ah! See, if you if you queue up housing in front of something, let me show you. Hit OK. It says, do you want to delete it? So I say no to delete it. Right? But for the scientist, the it tells me, do you want to continue? And then, so you have to hit yes. So that is just terrible, terrible design. All right, another vote. How close are we to be able to vote for ourselves? Not enough. We're at about just under half, but we need two-thirds, so. Android science is finished. Good, and we can fit two more, so let's queue those up. For science. And here we can fit three more. Twenty two hundred research. And what do we have here? Bulrothi, it's a colony ship. Oh, so they're just looking to colonize, not to go to war. Which is very smart of them. Android scientist, which caps us out here, good, and nothing to build. So go and research. Stock exchange, I know we've got an excess of food too. You need more people. Artificial planet? Excellent. Okay, giant amoeba. You are going to die. All too easy. Auto lab finished on Moretta. Good. Uh, just keep queuing crap up then. This, that. That, 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 that. Housing done. Okay, so go back to terraforming, soil enrichment, and then more housing. I like to do that because the terraforming will increase the cap, the population cap on a planet. Um, so then you just queue up housing after and it just fills it up again. Look at this. We are sitting at a plus 70% morale bonus on this planet. So sick. So sick. Everything is so efficient here. Researching so fast, building so fast. Look, you can't even see anymore all the telescope, the microscopes. We're now at 3,100 research points. Like, in the last 10 to 15 turns, we've at least doubled our research. Now, part of that is, of course, that we're moving people from production into research, but still, the scientists, the better technology, yeah, it's pretty good. Stargates. Now we get instantaneous movement between all of our colonies. So, all of our... Uh, yeah, and it's automatic. You don't build it or anything. You just... To go from one of our colonies to another colony just takes one turn, no matter how far away it is. Very, very handy. And the Stellar Converter. Ooh. Yeah. So it automatically hits... Does 400 damage to all shields of any ship, regardless of range and defense. So, effectively, it does 1,600 damage. Plus, it has a special thing when you use it for orbital bombardment.
time warp facilitator uh, facilitator so you can put this on a ship and they get to take two turns two actions the first round basically I think every other round or something like that because there's research time it's actually pretty crazy um, yeah it's it's very cool okay now let's go down to construction to get our doomstar construction Bomber Bay is robotic factory I should maybe gotten the core waste dumps a long time ago. That just all your pollution gets dumped into the core of the ship. Oh, what do we have here? Bolrothi battleship. Well, they're probably just feeling they've got to defend their colony. But it's kind of my colony, so. And since I can move all my ships instantaneously now, I don't have a problem clumping them up. It'll still take longer to move them to other planets, but I can just like go to Orion and then go to Pund or something like that and get places pretty quick. Okay, let's destroy... Actually, let's just take it over. Invade. You've got nothing here, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. You're pissy. I get it. Um, wow, things are so small. Uh, Robo Miner, Robotic Factory, which is new. A robotic factory actually doesn't do that much for you. Just it only gives you a static bonus, and even then, it's based on how many mineral resources are there. But it's still worth something. It's much better on richer planets. Fighter garrison, auto build. So we've done that. With the, secure the knowledge that we can defend anywhere at any time. Oh yeah, i got more ships here too, so that's perfect. In fact, I'm going to move them up to Orion, just to make sure it's defended. How's Orion doing anyway? Pretty well. Oh, no farmers. Not yet. I'll have to queue up a core waste dump here as soon as we get it. Like now. So deep core mining is nice. It's just like the automated factory and the robo miners, but better. And then the core waste dumps, yeah. Takes all pollution, dumps it below the planet, eliminates all pollution on the planet, which I should have done a long time ago. Select planet for a colony base. Sure, that one looks good. And seriously, just auto build. You finish that? Well, you can build a android scientist. Wait, no warning? Are you not capped yet? Huh. Okay, housing followed by android scientist. Delete? No. See? I get confused. Do I hit yes? Do I hit no? Um... Right, and Orion, I want to queue up the core waste dump. Before the battle station. So now I don't have to worry about building atmosphere renewer or pollution processor. You just build the core waste dump and you're done. And the battleship finally revved the Tau, so I'm just gonna kill it. <laughs> just one shot. Okay. I could go and take their capital. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. So, okay, advanced city planning. So good. Uh, it just gives all your planets plus 5 million max. So, plus 5 max population. So incredibly good. But everything at this level is pretty good. Well, the heavy fighter bays are meh. I mean, they're just better than normal fighters, but I don't care about that. The Star Fortress is like the battle station, but on crack. Much, much more powerful. I don't usually end up building them. The battle stations are usually okay. Um, and at this point, if you're getting the Star Fortress, you're probably creative. I mean, it depends. If, I suppose if I didn't have a battle station, if I was not creative, I didn't have a battle station, then I might take it if I needed a defense. But generally speaking... Ah, uh, it doesn't come up too often. Hello, Ursa. Wow, you got all four planets and everything. A few ships in orbit. I'm not concerned. We're probably just going to go and destroy everything. One shot that. Yep, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much a joke. I still have my crappy fusion beam ship. Like, they are so ancient. Uh, wow, we actually have to 
probably soften you up a little bit first. Get rid of some of those tanks. There we go. That's hopefully okay. Wow, they actually have a really big combat box. Whew. Actually lost quite a bit there, but ultimately take it. Yay. Um, wow. Auto build. I don't have patience for that anymore. If it weren't for the fact that we're such such hugely in the lead, I might worry a little bit more about optimizing, and especially if I wasn't doing the video, but for now, bah. Bah. We don't have any fighters, uh, rather transports anymore, so we're just going to be bombing these places from orbit. Nuking them completely. Bombard. Just killing millions and millions of people at a time. Without a care in the world. Uh, you got a lot of stuff to build here. Build this stuff. I'll we'll keep blowing up their crappy planets. It's an ultra poor planet. Like, these guys are desperate. Why are you colonizing this? It's so bad. And they have tanks here, which means they actually built the armor barracks. What a waste. One bites the dust. Okay, the Artemis system that is really cool. You set up a huge network of mines surrounding your star system so that as soon as things warp in, uh, or maybe at the beginning of combat, they just start with taking tons and tons of damage. And the Doom Star construction. Mobile planetoid bases. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um. <laughs> I could start building it now, but maybe we want. Slightly better tech. We don't need better armor, so we have the Zentronium. But some better shields, perhaps. Especially if we can get down to hard shields, that would be good. And the reason is, eventually we're going to take this thing against the Antarans, and again, they have armor, or they have shield piercing weapons. But if you get the hardened shield mod, then. Um, what? I got nothing to attack here. Then um, you can no longer use shield piercing against them. Stealth shields, stealth suits, again, our spies. I guess we could have gotten that a long time ago and prove our spy defense. Built the battle station, good. So now, whoa, so much. Can you not terraform anymore? Are you fully terraformed, really? Okay, auto build then. And you too. Lightning field, it's actually pretty cool. You 